comes in on you. And the more lonely you are, the more difficult it is to renew communication with, with the outside world. We lose the ability to, 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 to communicate and you get frightened. Yes, I think social isolation is becoming more and more. There are more elderly because of the people that are living a lot longer. Um, the isolation, of course, is getting worse. A lot of older people be, become very seriously ill. They'll, uh, you know, could possibly die a lot earlier than they, they need to. To be honest, heart attacks, dementia, diabetes, financial problems, all sorts of things will happen. The, the impact is, is just horrendous. I have free time and I've been thinking for years about volunteering in some sort of capacity, um, but never actually getting around to doing it. And then when I heard about Age UK and befriending, I just thought it was the perfect way to volunteer. Um, it's, it's so easy to do, um, and who doesn't like making new friends? <laughs> we only ask that they, the volunteer gives a minimum one hour a week. That's all we ask. But usually you find, or I find, it's a lot more than that. It, start, it may start off an hour, but it ends up being two, three, possibly a lot longer. So people start off with a cup of tea and end up going to the theatre or whatever, eventually as the relationship becomes more established. I used to go to a very elderly lady locally who um, never got out of the house and she she was very disabled and she she always looked forward to seeing me and I looked forward to seeing her because we got got on very well together. So that's what, you know, I think it gives them something to look forward to which uh, they wouldn't have otherwise. Anybody can do it, anybody that spends an hour watching a TV programme or on Facebook can spend that hour making someone's life happier. It's just, it's so rewarding and so easy to do.